All right, hey guys, this is uh, Eric Chen, co-founder and CEO of uh, Injective Labs. And today I'm gonna talk about Surprise Injective. So I'm sure many of you guys probably know about Injective or don't know enough about Injective. So I'll just start off with like, kind of like a high level overview about what Injective is. So it's the first protocol that provides seamless access to unlimited uh, decentralized finance markets, whether that be spot, futures, derivatives, anything. So let's go over some of the core features of Injective. We've built a user-friendly interface with an obsession over the user experience. The entire protocol is built around providing the most seamless access to the robust order book infrastructure that we built with minimal compromise from leaving the Ethereum chain. Thanks to Cosmos SDK, it allows for lightning fast trades with instant finality. And the injective relayer mechanism, which is kind of like a front end for an exchange, um, allows for the end user to not pay any gas. And thanks to the flexibility of the derivative mechanism, if there's a price fee, there's a market. Whether that be perpetual swaps, expired futures, binary options, it's all possible on Injective. Thanks again to Cosmos, uh, Injective supports multi-chain transaction via IBC, along with a native Ethereum bridge that optimizes for um, an Ethereum native experience. And most importantly, full decentralization is always the cornerstone of Injective's ethos and philosophy. And this is shown in every single step within the life cycle of trade. And with a growing list of global validators, Injective is highly secure and completely borderless. So let's do a quick recap on the Canary Chain so far. The genesis state of Canary Chain was launched at the end of June, and the community has been extremely helpful and active in building out and decentralizing the Injective ecosystem. There are no critical exploit found, knock on wood, and Injective has grown to 24 validators thus far. As the first main deployment of Gravity Bridge since June, over $100 million has been secured on the Ethereum PEGI contract. One big surprise is the level of activity that we've seen around the Injective governance. So far, there's 33 inactive proposals and 23, uh, 22 markets that are successfully proposed and passed. Here are some of the really interesting proposals. For number 51, as soon as Coinbase Oracle was decided by the community in the forum to be adopted as kind of the initial Oracle, we saw the first perpetual swap market for BTC USDT listed right away. For number 52, Stargazer is actually an off-chain initiative, but it's one of the first text proposal that was enacted on-chain. While it doesn't require any type of on-chain change or activity, it's still very interesting to see the community finalizing off-chain initiatives uh, via on-chain proposals. 58 is a showcase for Injective's new uh, negative rebate feature. It's a very interesting mechanism that allows for AMMLPs to simulate the experience and return profile on an active on-chain um, order book. And number 60, well, it's IBC. So what's next? Obviously, Canary for the rest of the year. Just kidding. So I'm sure a lot of um, Eagle Eye community members probably already know through the governance proposal. Sorry for the spoiler. A proposal for um, injective canonical chain upgrade has just been submitted today. And I honestly can't be more excited to share the culmination of months of blood, sweat, and tears with the community. As some of you guys already know, we didn't sleep enough uh, for Red Bull to sponsor us a fridge that's fully stocked at all times. And trust me, like they restock a lot. I've seen those guys more than anyone else. So let's dive right in. Like, what is canonical, right? It's pretty much, I guess, the full-on mainnet. Um, as the community expected, the canonical chain proposal will enable all features unlocked and unrestricted. From this point on, it will truly be a borderless and inclusive protocol for anyone to access and create any market, anytime, anywhere. And as the community kind of remember in Solstice, we integrated with Band as the simple model of uh, using Band relayers to showcase a wide range of markets. And now, thanks to the upcoming far more secure and decentralized IBC integration with Band, the price feed for crypto, forex, stocks, and commodities will be available on the injective chain. We also listened to countless community feedbacks and uh, took the chance to revamp almost all of our products to offer the best in-class experience for any type of users. Forgot to click that. There's a little bit of surprise at the end. No big deal. So let's go through them one by one. Injective Hub. 
Um, this is kind of an issue we saw. A lot of community members reflected how um, within this kind of like multi-chain environment, it's really hard for them to navigate you know, different tools and you know, really unique uh, type of uh, applications on a chain. So we agree, and that's why we created Injective Hub. It's kind of the one-stop shop for en uh, everything related to Injective Chain. We make sure that Hub is the perfect starting point in their journey to the Injective ecosystem. And it may very well be their go-to for staking, uh, governance, transferring, and also bridging. Pretty easy to use. We've spent the majority of Canary Chain phase really biting our nails and hoping you know, our implementation take on Ethereum Peggy Bridge is secure and robust. After all, we are kind of uh, the guinea pig within this uh, implementation compared to Gravity Bridge. And now with over $100 million deposited, uh, most of our nail will probably live to see another day. Well, the keyword being most. Injective Bridge is really the starting point for many Ethereum users looking to access the Injective ecosystem. And first impression matters a lot. It's built to be pretty seamless, fast, secure, and full, fully decentralized. The bridge is the most important component of the Injective architecture, and it's critically uh, secure by the consensus of Injective Chain itself, so it's not POA or anything. Um, try it out, honestly. Uh, deposit and withdrawal is finalized in under five minutes, and once the user enters the Injective ecosystem, uh, they'll get fast block time, instant finality, and less than two cents for gas. Oracles, that's a fun one. So since day one, it's our top priority to make sure that market creators can have as many secure and diverse price feed at their disposal as possible. And I'm happy to kind of show off the first three Oracle solution that we included within this upgrade. Chainlink is one of the largest Oracle solution, and we've been working with them pretty closely as the first wave of uh, OCR 2.0 partners. Once Chainlink uh, OCR is fully set up, market creators will be able to access fast, secure, and very diverse price feed that are currently already securing billion dollars in value. Well, billions. Band has always been the fun and exciting one because that's what Solstice was all about. And thanks to IBC, it's really a wonderful collaboration, even for the greater Cosmosverse. The integration is one of the first instances of leveraging uh, IBC beyond just token transfer. And Band Oracle uh, scripts are also kind of music to these market creators' ears. It allows for extreme flexibility in converting raw price feeds uh, into a lot of sophisticated price feed for any type of derivative needs. And so basically, you can imagine a lot of these price feeds uh, coming directly from sources uh, not processed or averaged or TWAPed, and that can all happen with uh, banned Oracle scripts. Coinbase Oracle is the earliest production integration on Injective, and it's one of the most reputable exchanges globally. So price sourced directly from the exchange means that the market creators can create a lot of these markets knowing that there won't be any middleman risk, which is very important. IBC is a cool one. And I don't think I really need to explain what IBC is, so. Injective enabled IBC in a recent governance proposal, and Cosmonauts can now officially transfer Atom from Cosmos Hub. And this really marks kind of like a small beginning uh, of a future with infinite possibilities. There's so many exciting opportunities for integration, composability, and interoperability ahead for the Injective community. Um, I personally look forward to work with every single Cosmos ecosystem projects and really figure out creative ways to build this entire interchain uh, money lingo. This is really an exciting one. Um, Canary Chain, when it first launched, it was literally just injective relayer. Um, no one was too interested in becoming relayer and build a front end. But now, um, relayers are joining at an exponential pace. As a matter of fact, this graphic is no longer accurate because a relayer called MarsX has just joined the injective ecosystem. The goal for Injective Pro has always and will be a reference and starting ground for a lot of these new relayers that will expectedly offer superior functionalities and better user experiences over time. And I really encourage everyone to join the Relayer ecosystem. We've done a lot of work to ensure that it's extremely simple and easy to get started. And most importantly, we're barely scratching the surface of what a Relayer can be and can look like. They're basically all right now just order book exchanges. Now, I'd like to steal a line. Um, this API is built by institutions for institutions. We've been working with institutional market makers since Canary Chain launch 
to craft the best possible API for power users on Injective. So far, they've been kind of testing the water on the uh, Canary chain using this API, and the response has been positive, to say the least. The goal for this API is to democratize the access uh, to quality data on Injective. As of right now, users can use this API knowing that they're getting the exact same access in, uh, as any institutions that trade billions of dollars daily. Another interesting thing is that transactions are sent directly to Injective nodes without any type of middleman, so the users will enjoy minimum delay and also little middleman risk. Oh, yeah, there's a surprise. When I said there's a surprise in the end, I really mean it. Um, so Injective Astro, this is really the crown jewel of Canonical Chain Upgrade proposal. It's an upcoming proposal for over $100 million in liquidity incentive program. If it's passed, it will allocate 10 million IJ towards ecosystem uh, growth incentives. The canonical chain upgrade includes three major features that makes up the meat and bone of Astro. It's trade and earn, VIP program, and DMM program. And trade and earn is probably the most easiest to understand. It proposed plans to allocate more than $70 million towards general protocol participation. And in this upgrade proposal, we've built a fully on-chain mechanism that allows Astro to track and reward users based on a fair mechanism. So basically, every time a user sends a transaction or a trade, it will be recorded and counted towards a reward. Governance can decide uh, market-specific reward ratios or whether to blacklist a certain reward um, uh, market, and just to ensure that uh, these incentives are properly distributed with priority set straight. By rewarding based on fee contribution uh, and coupled with ex uh, Injective's core exchange mechanisms, it will actually be net pro positive to the protocol economic and net negative to all the malicious actors. To put it simply, basically, if people, uh, people can try to game the system, but they'll very quickly find out that they're wasting their time, effort, and probably money. If someone manages to successfully do so in a sustainable way, uh, you'll probably get a handsome job offer instead of a letter from a tax man. And to further incentivize early adopters, the reward rate will be rightly skewed with more than 1 million uh, allocated per week in the beginning. So to properly uh, reward these power users that are generating a lot of volume within the injective ecosystem, um, the upgrade proposal also includes a mechanism that's similar to kind of the centralized exchanges, volume-based VIP incentives. And of course, we kind of implemented this model with a DEX twist. This model is fully on-chain and calculated based on fee contribution to encourage newcomers and ensure sustainability within a decentralized environment. So any new guys coming in will be able to climb up the tiers really quickly and sometimes quicker than existing VIPs. This ensures that VIP users on higher tier um, would have to work exponentially harder and doesn't have uh, increasingly uh, unfair advantage in margin and spread. This is kind of the example of what it's going to look like, but obviously it's up to governance to decide. So I'm sure a lot of people have already seen this. Um, so in order to reward a lot of these top power users on Injective, uh, the Astro uh, proposal plans to allocate more than $30 million uh, towards rewarding users that uh, contribute really strong liquidity to the protocol. It'll reward top market makers and liquidity uh, providers based on a sophisticated uh, set of quant-based metrics. And to ensure that the community can properly react to a lot of different dynamic conditions, distribution uh, has to be approved or modified by governance uh, every month. Whether you're a billion dollar institution or just an average user, you have the exact same uh, access to this opportunity as everyone else. And coming next. Yeah, you thought it was finished, don't you? If passed, canonical chain upgrade is really just the start of an amazing journey. And here are some of the immediate things that we'll start to do next. So we start to commit $5 million to buck bounty programs to ensure that injective chain will always be safe and secure. And here's a kicker. Injective Lab has actually been quietly supporting products that will or has been building on injective via grants or investment. And so far, uh, the support for Burnt Finance and Picasso has been published. There's a couple more that hasn't been published yet. These efforts will be for, uh, formalized very soon, and please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you want to start. Honestly, this is just the beginning. Um, I'm always amazed and surprised by how far we've come, and there's still a lot of work to be done. 
and I can assure you that the journey has only started. We have a lot more sleepless nights ahead and maybe a third Red Bull fridge. But what's fun is that uh, we have this family to share it with. And without further ado, start your uh, journey in Injective here. And of course, a huge thank you to CryptoCito and the organizers of this uh, amazing conference. Thank you so much, guys.